guys, it's Mo from Mo in the Deep End. And you know what? I figured we had had such a boring day. Today is the 22nd of August, 2023. And, you know, our court cases have seemed to just lag on. The uh, Black Widower case has just lagged and lagged today. So I thought we would, I saw this pop up and, you know, my penchant for weird and wacky. I thought we would look at this and perhaps get a little giggle and doggone it, Nessie, we're going to find you this year. Ta-da. Straight from people itself, the most reliable and greatest source of unfiltered information, we will find you, Nessie. God dang it. You won't get away from us this time. 2023, the year the Loch Ness Monster is found. Next, we're coming for you, Bigfoot. Don't get comfy. Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster hunters gathering in Scotland with new gear this weekend to find the fabled creature. For the Quest weekend on August 26th and 27th, volunteers from all around the world will come together in person and online to search for signs of the creature. Oh my dear Jesus, y'all, those chat rooms we must be in. Feral, I demand we find these live streams and we attend. If my father wasn't coming into town and um, I rarely get to see him, I would be literally um, IV hooked onto my, <laughs> I don't know how I would, but somehow I would manage to to figure out a way that I wouldn't move away from my computer because this would be the most hilarious thing to watch in the entire world. Also, um, ma'am, you spelled Marissa wrong. There's two S's in this. Also, I am hot when I cosplay as her. So maybe I'll lose the S and I'll become svelte and blonde. Who knows? Anywho. Let's see here. Determined monster hunters are uniting to track down one of the world's most elusive creatures. Decades ago, a quote-unquote water beast was allegedly spotted in the Scottish Highlands by a hotel manager named Aldi McKay, per The Guardian. Was The Guardian as reliable back then as it is now, asking for a friend? Um, because I have seen some Guardian articles on lotus eaters and um yeah i'm again asking for a friend the myth of the loch ness monster has sparked intrigue across the globe ever since now on august 26th through the 27th 90 years later volunteers from all around the world will come together in scotland to search for signs of the loch ne loch ness monster during an event called the Quest Weekend, hosted by the Loch Ness Center. The search will take place over the course of two days using equipment that hasn't previously been employed in the hunt for Nessie. Oh my God, please be a plesiosaur. And possibly lizard people. I mean, I'm just saying, go full Alex Jones. They're turning the frogs, the plesiosaurus guy. Like, I want all of the things. I want interdimensional, you know, trolls and everything. Like, just all of them. Just, I, I am ready for full 2023 shenanigans. It is August. It is eight bajillion degrees. My middle daughter failed her, her permit test. She got one question wrong at the end. Well, one too many questions wrong at the end. But we're going back tomorrow, and we found an extra piece of mail, so, woo! And she's, you know, taking it. Okay, so, any who's old, let's go back. As the net will be employed in the hunt for Nessie, as the creature is sometimes referred to, including drones with infrared cameras, according to Loch Ness Center, which is located at the site of... Yeah, some kind of hotel, Drum, Drum and Narachit Hotel. Note, to any 
Scottish people I just offended with the butchering of the hotel name that I just attempted to use. I was attempting to be culturally sensitive, but hooked on phonics didn't work for me. You're welcome, and we apologize. Where McKay worked all those years ago, hydrophones will also be used to detect any acoustic signals in the water. The Loch Ness Center, which is a museum exploring the history of the Nessie legend, and also a cruise operator just reopening this year after a 1.9 million refurbishment, CNN noted. Ah, so this is all in, well, you know, hey, capitalism gonna capitalism. Grift is gonna grift, and I salute you, Scotland, for finally getting on that. You know, I understand that the S&P is still winning there, but... Yay for embracing capitalism once or twice in a year. I understand that, oh gosh, what's her face? The lady is no longer your prime minister. And if I can remember her name, I will... Yep, I need to eat something. Good Lord. One of these days, I swear. Anywho... Nicola Sturgeon is no longer your PM, but uh, embrace capitalism. It'll work. Just a joke, people. I know barely anything about British politics and only slightly more about American politics, but I have an opinion just like everyone else. And good Lord, I don't need to get on the Internet to opine. Ellen McKenna, a Loch Ness exportation or exploration, exploitation, exploration expert will instruct participants on what to look for and how to record potential findings. Sir, if you're an expert, shouldn't you have found something? Never mind. It's always been our goal to record, study, and analyze all manner of natural behavior and phenomena that may be more challenging to explain, McKenna said in a statement on the Loch Ness Center's website. McKenna added, it's our hope to inspire a new generation of Loch Ness enthusiasts, and by joining this large-scale surface watch, you'll have a real opportunity to personally contribute toward this fascinating mystery that has captivated so many people from around the world. The news interest has been hit, a hit for the new hotel, which according to Fraser Campbell, with an Quote unquote, unbelievable number of reservations this summer, the Guardian reported. Campbell serves as the director of the Combs Group, which owns the hotel. It is our hope to inspire a new generation of Loch Ness enthusiasts. Okay, that's the same quote that you had up here. Possibly don't copy and paste, but Paul Nixon, manager of the Loch Ness Center, added in a statement on the organization's website that he thinks, quote, there is a very strong possibility that something will be spotted this weekend. But then, of course, it raises the question as to what that will be. Oh, my gosh, please be a man in a in a furry suit. Barring barring real Nessie man in furry, you know, walrus suit like, oh, my gosh, what was Husk or Tusk? That weird, weird movie with. um, What's his face? Oh, y'all, I'm terrible at this. My mom is great at this. You could get, she's like 27 degrees to Kevin Bacon. She is awesome at this, but I am, I am terrible. I'm like, what's his face with the eyeballs, you know, and the thing. And my mom's like, oh, his name is Charlie something or other. And, and she can give his whole, you know, bibliography of work. And I'm over here, like, he's got the eyes and, you know, the teeth and he has a face and, it is. Sorry. Back to the thing. Well, and so the Loch Ness Center and um, that particular hotel that I will not, no, I will not again butcher for cultural sensitivity, did not respond. So maybe by this weekend we will have confirmation that um, either a man who has been turned into a surgically altered walrus. Um, which is kind of what I'm hoping for, or, um, you know, a plesiosaur, which is also, you know, good. I mean, tusk or plesiosaur, I'm, either way, I will be just happy, or a, or a selkie. 
I mean, if it's a selkie, I'm I'm all down. I mean, I know it's Irish, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. But you know, barring barring tusk like weird man sewn into walrus suit, or um, you know, actual plesiosaur. I'm not guessing that this is going to turn anything up, but if it does, then, uh, like I said, Bigfoot, you are next, USOB, because you done tried to murder, you know, that uh, fisherman a while back. Well, that and meth, you know, but regardless of the point, you were there, sir. <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope that helped you guys a little bit with today because I know today was a bit of a slog. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. I am going to pick up a puppy. And update, update, update. The boys start school Thursday. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yay. So they will be going to help me get the puppy. And so it will be a four-hour drive with two boys and a puppy. I round trip. So, but it'll it'll all be good. We will have pads. They will be charged. It'll be awesome. And I will give an update, and you will get to see and possibly help name said new Finkelstein tomorrow. I hope you are having a great day. And remember, you might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you are always welcome here. We are. We are here. We are a bit weird. We're a bit crazy, but we're always welcoming. We'll always give you a chance and a try. So check us out. Do all of the YouTube -y things like subscribe, you know, all of the thingies. And I will see you in our next video. So have a great day. Bye, guys.